This video style is blowing up right now, and you've probably seen it on channels like Zack D Simple Visuals, Smooth Animations, and in this video, I'll show you exactly how to recreate this format using AI step-by-step, -step, without expensive neural networks, using two tools for this purpose, how to launch your channel today and start monetizing it by 2026, Watch this video to the end and find out everything you need to know. Our first step is writing the script using ChatGPT. We will generate an image prompt and come up with a scenario. I already came up with the plot myself. The video will be about a brick falling onto a person's hand. To create a high quality image, take a screenshot of the visuals like I did and write the following prompt. I need a complete prompt to create a video in the same style as in the picture with the same graphics. Plot. A man on a blue background puts his hand on the table and a brick falls on his hand. The brick falls completely and his palm turns red. Break it all down into scenes, but keep the character the same. The same room and table, everything the same. You will receive a prompt for the first image and a script for the video. The second step is creating the image and animation. For this, we will use the professional tool CART AI. It allows you to create both images and videos. Click Create at the top right and you will be taken to the page we need, then paste in our prompt. Now let's set up the generation, it's simple. Set the image resolution to 9 to 16, generation mode to standard, magic prompt to auto, and leave the model as it is. That's it, you can safely click generate. We wait about 20 seconds. Done, we get four images. Choose the one that suits you best. I will choose this one, I like it the most. Now we will work with this image. Go to the video function, it is located below the image on the left. In this section, you need to upload your image. Select the image. In the settings, we almost don't change anything, resolution 9 to 16. Paste in our first prompt that ChatGPT generated for us in the first step and click Generate. By the way, I prepared a complete ready-made prompt with hints and requests to make it easier for you to use the tool without mistakes. The link to the prompt will be in the description. My first scene is ready. This is exactly what we need. It shows the veins and bones of our character. And next, a brick will fall onto his hand. Now it's important that to continue this video without creating a new scene or generating a new image, we will need one function. Hover over the video and select the third icon. Extend current video and generate a coherent video. This is exactly the one we need. Here we paste the prompt from ChatGPT. My prompt sounds like this. The scene remains exactly the same. A realistic red clay brick appears above the man, directly over his right hand. The brick is positioned higher than the hand and clearly visible in the frame. I remind you that you will find the ready-made prompt with hints via the link in the description. Now a brick appears above our character, which will then fall onto his hand. Repeat the same steps until you create a complete video. The coolest part is that you don't need to create a new video, you are simply extending a single one. When everything is ready, just download it from the website and that's it. Now let's add voiceover to our video. We will create the voiceover using 11 Labs. it is also free. Click on text to speech, then choose any voice you like for your video. You can slightly adjust the voice settings. Now go to ChatGPT and write the request. Write me a short voiceover for about 15 seconds for this video. It generates a short voiceover. If you don't like it, just ask it to rewrite it according to your request. After that, copy the text and return to 11 Labs. Paste the text and click generate speech. Wait a short time, Download it, and that's it. The final step is editing. We will add the voiceover and music. I use CapCut as always, but you can edit in any editor that is convenient for you. Upload the video, add the voiceover and music, and adjust the music so it is not too loud. If necessary, extend the video or cut out unnecessary parts in general. Do it the way you see fit. The main thing is that the video looks harmonious. Personally, I slightly extend the video and add zoom-ins. When everything is ready, Export the video with the best settings at 60 frames per second. And now, let's take a look at what we got. Watch closely. When heavy force is applied to the hand, the pressure transfers directly through the palm. The bones begin to fracture, veins compress, and the skin rapidly turns red, showing how fragile the human hand is under extreme impact. An excellent result turned out. Everything is exactly the way I wanted it. I hope your video also turned out great. Share your result in the comments. Now let me show you how to optimize your channel so it's easier for you to gain views. First, go to YouTube Studio. For your channel to start getting good views, you need to know three things. The first is channel optimization. Go to settings at the bottom left, then to the channel section. Here, choose a country I recommend selecting the United States or the United Kingdom. 
depending on your preference. Now you need tags. Depending on your niche, write relevant keywords. For example, Zach D, animation, 3D animation, and similar ones. This will help a lot. Now go to the second tab and check the second checkbox there. That's it. The second thing you need to know to properly optimize your videos is that you should take a competitor's video title and modify it by replacing it with your own characters. You take the style, but adapt it to yourself. You can also take tags from competitors and place them in your channel description. Here's one important piece of advice that most people completely ignore. If you want to grow faster, stop making random videos. YouTube doesn't reward creativity at the beginning, it rewards clarity and repetition. Pick one format that works and repeat it again and again. Same style, same structure, same type of video, only the idea changes. This helps YouTube clearly understand who your content is for and who to recommend it to. Another mistake beginners make is overthinking analytics after every upload. One video doesn't decide anything. You need at least five to 10 similar videos to see real patterns. Focus on improving the hook, keeping the video simple, and holding attention in the first 30 seconds. If people stay and watch, YouTube will do the rest. That's how channels grow faster, even with simple videos. That's all, friends. I hope my tips in this niche helped you and were useful. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss new trends. I wish you recommendations, and see you soon.